Colin Smith from Video Revealed here. Version one of my 50 drag and drop animated split screens is a huge hit. People love them. So they've asked for more. Uh, that one went up to 10 screens. They wanted 20, 30, 40, 50. So we've got 50 two more and there was two extra because I was working with someone and once I had 50, they said, can you make a screen with 54? And then somebody else showed up and they asked, can you make one with 55? So you get two extra. So 52 new version two animated drag and drop split screens. You can grab them from our store on videoreveal.com. Okay, so let me import these in. I'll show you what they do and we'll replace some of the, the placeholders just so you can see how they work. So I'll just go to my media browser. It's really the best way uh, to do this. And I'll right click and import on the whole project. Click OK. And it might take a moment for them to, uh, to be brought in. And you'll see two folders. One is all of the placeholders. And, and these are just, they're just your placeholders. So each one of these is a full HD video and it shows uh, the number that it is. So I'm gonna close that up. And the other one is the actual split screen. So I'll open this up and I'll go to icon view and just open my screen up here. And you can see there's all of them there. I'm just gonna sort these by name so they're correct. So uh, you'll notice a bunch of eights up at the top. When I was making my original split screens, um, I decided to, to, to make 50 and I was up to, to, I had created some nines first and then, or some, anyway, by the time I got to eights, I had already created 50. So there were no eights in there. So I put a bunch of eights in here. Plus, uh, as you can see, 10, there's a bunch of 10s, 11s, 12s, 13, 14s, uh, 15s, 16, 17s. 18s, 19s, and then I'm going to start jumping numbers, 20, 20, uh, 1, 22, 24. I thought that was a good even number. 30s, 33, 40, 40s, a bunch of, a couple of 40s, 44, 48, 50, 50, uh, 54, and 55. So when you mouse over these, you'll see them animate. And uh, <laughs> there's quite a few videos here, so it could definitely take some time to play these back. It's impossible to play them back, especially the one with 50 or 55 freaking clips. This is 55 HD clips playing at the same time. You're not gonna do that. So let's show you how we're gonna use these. So I've got a sequence here and I'm going to grab, uh, which one do I like, uh, 10. 10B, so here's 10B. Before you drag it in, you need to turn this button so it's gray. When it's on, you'll see just V1 and A1 show up. This is source patching and track targeting. When this is blue, it means that you're going to insert a nested sequence, which is fine, that's very useful. But what we want to do is actually have all this, the separate 10 pieces so watch what happens when I click here. You can see more show up. And I'll drag this in, hit the backslash key. So now I've got all 10 here. And they animate just like that. So I'm going to find a bit more room here just so I can see all of them. So there's the graphic bars are also animated at the top. So each one comes in. Each placeholder comes in. Now I want to replace them. And if you replace them the proper way, you'll keep the size and the animation intact. Let me show you how, how that's done. So I've got a bunch of, I'm calling them zoomers. There's a bunch of videos that were made uh, with artificial intelligence, so these are not real people. I mean, they're based on images. I just wanted to have a whole bunch of um, clips where I didn't have to worry about licensing individual people. I just want to show you this. So there's a few different ways to replace it. One way is to just start dragging them with the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Mac held down. So here's number one. Let me drag these in. So there's number one number two, number three, 
and off and, and on we go. Now, the other way you can do this is you can double click on one, load it in the source monitor, select the clip, right click, replace with clip from source monitor or match frame if, if you need to. And now she shows up in there. You might think that dragging and dropping is easy, but once you get up to 40 and 50 of these screens, you it, it's hard to see where you're, you're dragging. Now, the other way to do this, which is uh, is odd that it's not working, is to select a clip in the bin, right click on a clip, replace with clip from bin. And I'm finding that the only way this works is if it's in the root directory. This is a bin that's open. So if we go back to here, select one of these, now we can choose replace with clip from bin and it shows up. So different ways of doing it. I mean, I, I could, if I needed to, I could show thumbnails, and drag these. So there is a way to, to get it, uh, you know, similar. And the other thing that's good is that there's a keyboard shortcut for replace with clip from bin, um, and you can make that anything you want. And, and um, that way you click on the bin, click on here and just hit the shortcut. That's even easier than dragging uh, and dropping, but I'm just gonna finish dragging uh, a couple more on here. And once you have everything in there, now when you play this back, they'll show up just like that. And I'm also down here at a quarter resolution and you probably wanna turn that down to a quarter resolution. And you wanna click on the wrench and make sure high quality playback is not turned on. Your output is gonna look fine. So it doesn't matter how slow your computer is. When you export this out, the final animation and the videos in each one of the placeholders is gonna look perfect. But trying to play this back um, is going to be easier if you turn the resolution on, down and make sure high quality playback is, is not on. High quality playback is not on by default. You would have had to have uh, turned that on uh, yourself uh, if it's on. So just it's one thing to check if your computer's really slow, but trust me, once you get up to 30, 40 uh, clips, it's gonna be hard. You'll find that you can't stop Premiere Pro from playing back. That just, that's what happens when there's so much going on in your computer and Premiere Pro is trying to play 30, 40 uh, uh, clips back. You're hitting the space bar. Just get used to a lot of slow, patient working when you're adding uh, this. If, if you're doing you know, two, three, or four, you're gonna be fine. When it's a, a huge number, dear Lord, it's, uh, it's gonna be hard. Have a lot of patience, uh, but you can use these in a lot of different ways. Um, I'll, uh, have uh, links in the product description on the store with uh, the other videos where you can, uh, like I said, where you can uh, scale these up to 4K and replace that media. You can also add multiple clips into one placeholder. Lots of different ways to use these. Like I said, version one was a huge hit. People wanted more, I'm giving you more. Uh, 50 plus two extra ones in the new version two of the drag and drop animated split screens. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and hopefully you're having fun in this crazy video world.